Toxi, the whole time director at uh, JK Lakshmi Cement, also joining us. Uh, Mr. Toxi, good morning and thank you very much indeed. Uh, well, a, sim a similar question like we were asking uh, uh, Mr. Cooper, how have the demand trends panned out? Uh, uh, you know, if you compare June, July and August, has there been a consistent improvement over the same time year ago? Well, actually these three months are not exactly comparable in the sense that uh, from the last week or the third week of July, you have the monsoon impact. So I think we'll have to segregate the two. If I uh, take uh, June and the first half of July, say, then it was a fairly good run on the demand. And at that time, mainly coming from the rural sector. Now, uh, obviously, with the monsoon second, the rural demand goes down. And some of the segments which were lying low, for instance, some urban construction, some of the government projects, as Mr. Cooper was saying, now they have picked up. But if I don't count the uh, cyclical factor, which is there every year in the monsoon when the demand goes down, then I feel the demand is fairly at the normal level. When I say normal, again I clarify that in monsoon it always goes down, so it has gone down. Yeah, Mr. Chokri, so the same extent this year. Yeah, Mr. Chokri, that's why I was asking you, year on year, how has August panned out? I mean, are you in the first 15 days of August doing as much as you did last August? Yeah, uh, fairly close to that, I would say. Okay. okay. Uh, Mr. Cooper... But that again, that again varies actually, you know, in some of the pockets where we operate, mm. we have very high, heavy monsoon-like instances. Of course. So there the demand obviously would have gone down. Some part of uh, uh, Gujarat, South Gujarat especially, Surat and downwards. So, you know, if I discount that, then I think it's fairly normal, I would say. Mr. Choksi, you know, in your earnings this time, the realizations were down about 3% year on year. Even quarter on quarter, they didn't grow much. Are you facing any pricing pressure at the moment? And what do you see as, you know, the way forward in terms of margins and realizations? See, in the first part of what had happened, and uh, one has to realize that the cement is a very logistic-dependent uh, industry. So what happened is that when we started somewhere in the last week of April and we ramped up by, say, about middle of May, we could supply where we had the convenient logistics for. Because Gujarat is one of our prime market and there it was very deeply impacted with the COVID. So also Rajasthan. So what had happened that we were not getting the drivers. So wherever you got the logistic connectivity, we supplied a lot of material there. So and similarly the other producers in that region would have done. So there was pricing pressure on some of the pockets. Because, uh, mainly because of the excess supply in certain pockets. Okay. So Gujarat saw, uh, you know, uh, fairly low prices, mm. while some part of North India was good, but the supply constraint was there. Mm. But that has all now, but, but we made up that by the overall EBITDA in terms because we could increase our volume mm. considerably. Up for uh, answering so many questions. Uh, Mr. Toxi, uh, one more uh, question to you. Your, your estimate uh, uh, of whether you will be able to make up the volume shortfall of uh, uh, April and maybe May, and uh, how are margins looking like panning out here on? Some cost pressures would be off, isn't it? Uh, well, it's a very difficult question to answer at this moment when the situation is so fluid. But let me say I am more optimistic today than what I was when I last uh, you know, interacted with you, say about 10, 15 days back. I am much more optimistic. So I am quite hopeful that at least... Uh, I'll, I'll, I will end with 11 by 12. So I will say about a month loss, but not more than a month loss. Though we actually lost uh, one and a half month, so I have a clear visibility that I'll make up for the half month. Uh, for one month also we are trying hard and uh, uh, let's see, as I said, I'm quite hopeful. This Thank you. Yeah. All right, Mr. Chokri, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us uh, and giving us your views. So